student orchestra at the CD Elementary School of Duanzhen Township in North China's Hebei Province was rehearsing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star on the last day of the summer vacation. The children, aged between 7 and 11, will perform at the inauguration ceremony of the new campus on the 28th of September. Covering an area of 20,000 square meters, the new campus will converge three local elementary schools into one, and in the process, it will benefit some 1,000 pupils. Li Feng, the founder of the Beijing-based Hefeng Art Foundation, loved the arts since he was a child, and he believes strongly in their power. I think the arts are particularly useful and helpful in helping with poverty alleviation in developing countries like China, which has a large rural population. I think the arts are a kind of social remedy and tool that can be used to fight against poverty. People in Duanzun Township are not worried about clothes, food, houses and transport because they already have all of that. The problem is they lack confidence. The arts have the power to help them gain confidence because the arts have a special capability to help society. When he created the Hefeng Art Foundation, it was the country's first private foundation aiming to provide arts education and promotion. One of Li's projects offers free art classes, including classes in ballet, musical instruments, drama, choir singing, and painting to local students in Duanzun Township every weekend is a complement to the school curriculum. Before March this year, no arts classes were available for around 600 local pupils due to the lack of teachers. The Hefeng Art Foundation finished its recruitment for the children's choir and orchestra in Duanzun by the end of last year. Li's memories on the recruitment remain fresh. It's hard for you to imagine their facial expressions on recruitment day. They look at the instruments as if they were alien artifacts, impossible to master, when they see them in person for the first time. The kids were surprised and curious about the instruments, because the instruments had nothing to do with their usual routine. That scene had so much contrast, it represented two completely different walks of life. The kids were all from rural backgrounds, and they were looking at these symbols of refinement in class. But I can see the sense of accomplishment and pride in their eyes, as soon as they could play. They were all eager to share their joy with others. CD Elementary School pupil Yang Bo Xiang is in the fifth grade and he tops the percussion class. His mother Feng Yue Hong listens to every class and makes notes to guide his practice back home. My son has such a wonderful teacher and the chance to learn music thanks to the Hefeng Art Foundation. Before learning music, he either watched TV or played video games after school. It is great to see him finally learning something useful. His mother had been very pleased to see the change in her son. He looks smarter and more easygoing than before after learning percussion. He looks happy. He really loves it. He has more confidence than before, and you can see it. Before, he was a shy boy and he kept silent in public. Now he looks great. Why you want to learn drumming? I love it. Your mother said you practice at home. How? I beat the drum in time to the metronome. Are you going to keep playing? Yes. I appreciate my teacher, Mr. Zhang. I can't learn drumming without him. What's your plan for the future? I want to be the best drummer in the world. Yang's teacher is named Zhang Yujin, and he comes from the Central Conservatory of Music. The 19-year-old is the youngest volunteer teacher in the program. I think they have changed a lot. They are more active and energetic after drumming. It helps enhance their sense of music. Their performance is better, and I'm proud of their progress. I think the program is very meaningful. I took part in it from the very first day. It helps the local kids and the whole community to know about music. They are eager to know about it, and this is a good thing. We should keep going. I will keep on coming here if it is possible and support the program. Currently, there are some problems in promoting arts education in rural areas, such as the lack of funds and teachers. 
but program founder Lee Fung still believes in the power of arts. Art provides endless spiritual nutrition to kids. In fact, the arts education can bring self-confidence and a sense of pride to them that they didn't have in the past. They will have a better angle to consider their future from. A lot of arts activities take place in a group, so they have better performance in coordination and teamwork. It seems that the arts education puts a gap between parents and children in rural areas. But isn't it the starting point for the children's journey to civilization and arts? What we hope for is that more time can be spent passing on the arts from students to parent, from school to home, and from household to community. As far as the time concerned, it might take at least a hundred years or three generations to achieve this goal.